she's the father of my children. Linda Thompson was Bruce Jenner's second wife. They married in 1981 and had two sons, Brandon and Brody. When the boys were just toddlers, Bruce told Linda his secret. My incredibly masculine, jocular, fun husband came to me one day and with a very somber look on his face and he said, I need to tell you something about myself. I think he's about to tell me he had an affair on the road. He told me I identify as a woman. I am a woman trapped in a man's body. So what, wait, whoa, whoa, look in the mirror. <laughs> Linda says she and Bruce tried therapy, but divorce was inevitable. I just said, you know, I love you, I'll be here for you, but I didn't marry a woman. I married a man. Both found love again. She married famed music producer David Foster, and Bruce, of course, married Chris Kardashian. Did you ever feel a responsibility to tell her what you knew? Oh, absolutely not. No, that was not my place in life ever to tell anyone someone else's secret that they had told me in confidence. In Linda's new book, A Little Thing Called Life, she reveals the day she first heard the name Bruce Jenner. It was while she was living with the king himself, Elvis Presley. Elvis and I were watching the Summer Olympics in July 26, 1976, and we were watching this incredible American athlete, Bruce Jenner, and he was dominating the decathlon. The decathlon, the body is screaming for mercy. Elvis turned to me and said, damn, you know, I'm not gay, but that guy is good looking, isn't he? And I said, he sure is. I'm going to marry that guy one day. Linda says she's gotten over the shock factor of seeing her husband of five years transitioning hey. into a woman. She that looks good. But fundamentally, nothing has changed. She has the same likes, dislikes. She has the same uh, impulses. She loves to fly. You know, she's still a very athletic woman. <laughs>